in the vascular pathology the next topic will be the glomus tumor the glomus tumor is a very rare benign neoplasm that actually originates from the cells of the glomus body so these glomus bodies are highly concentrated in the fingertips with a very high vascularity and it acts as a thermoregulatory where it regulates the peripheral blood flow to the digits so not surprisingly the glomus tumors are most commonly seen in the hands as well as subungual region which means beneath the nail and these glomus tumors are usually located in the areas of the skin that is rich in the glomus bodies if you see the example the important anatomical location will be the subungual regions that is subungual regions of the digits or the deeper part of the dermis of the palm breast forearm as well as on the foot these are the important anatomical areas where we can see the glomus tumors so in vast majority of the cases these are very small and present as a single tumors which are more frequently seen in women when compared to that of men and majority of the patients who present with glomus tumors are between 30 to 50 years of the age in general if we see the epidemiology 50% of the glomus tumors occur in fingers and 50% are present in the subungual area that is under the nail and these tumors mainly contains arteriovenous communications let us talk about the gross pathology of the glomus tumors over here as you can see the subungual glomus tumor over here the tumor presents as a pink or a purple in color with a vascular papule or nodule which is more commonly associated with the paroxysmal pain cold sensitivity as well as tenderness especially when we talk about uh, the subungual glomus tumors which are particularly painful when compared to that of other locations and these tumors are more commonly associated with nail dystrophy or a bluish red flush which are typically seen and the diagnosis is actually suspected especially on the basis of the clinical appearance as well as the history of paroxysmal pain as well as cold sensitivity but it is not the diagnosis of choice whenever we perform the histopathological examination so the histopathological examination of the excised tumor is necessary to confirm the diagnosis so for the confirmatory point of diagnosis we need to see the histopathological examination so if you see the histological picture of the glomus tumor over here the glomus tumor is a well circumscribed dermal nodule i am calling it as a nodule but not the nodules because more often they present as a single tumor more commonly in the subungual region and it is especially composed of the glomus cells it also contains the vasculature as well as the smooth muscle cells so when we talk about the different types of glomus tumors over here first let me talk about uh, the solid glomus tumor so the solid glomus tumor has uh, the scarce vasculature and also it contains a scant muscle component and these solid glomus tumors are the most common variant so remember guys that the most common type of the glomus tumor will be the solid variety and less common variant include glomangioma with a prominent vascular component the vascular component is less in the solid tumors when compared to that of these tumors 
So this is the gross as well as histopathological picture of the glomus tumors. And when we discuss about the treatment, the treatment of choice is the surgical excision of the tumor, especially for the subungual tumors, preoperative imaging studies with a color Doppler ultrasonography and magnetic resonance may actually provide an information on the tumor size, shape as well as a precise anatomical location. We can see very clearly the MRI of the subungual glomus tumor over here. Right? In this picture, we can clearly identify that there is a nail dystrophy which is mainly caused by the subungual glomus tumor where the red subungual patch which actually indicates the location of the tumor. So this is what we need to know about uh, the glomus tumor.